Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTracker.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all-new Icon Compound Mesh Jacket. We're going to begin this review by reading the descriptive paragraph in the Icon catalog, and then from there we're going to share our own thoughts and feelings on the all-new Compound. Necessity is the mother of invention, and the necessity of hard riding in hot climates dictated our invention of the Compound Mesh Jacket. A hybrid jacket consisting of 1.2 to 1.4 millimeter cowhide in the major impact areas, the compound has true street legitimacy. But hot weather riding demands active cooling, so we assembled the remaining chassis from our abrasion resistant fighter mesh. Additional components inside include articulated back armor plates, ratchet waist adjuster straps, articulated arms, and a full complement of CE approved field armor impact protectors. If your trip takes you through scorching heat and you demand the protection only leather can provide, consider the compound mesh jacket your ticket to ride. Sizing information, 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds with a somewhat athletic build. I have on a size large right now in the compound mesh. The thing fits and feels phenomenal right out of the gate, okay? Front view, side, plenty of mobility. This thing moves really well on your body with the combination of materials that they've used on this thing. It's got some nice stretch areas in it and you can really feel those work. It wears really lightly. Everything you see up here in the front, right, fighter mesh, heavy airflow, right, gonna work to keep you cool. We get to our major impact zones. Leather. And it's soft, it feels nice. Something I want to show you here in the sleeve is the cuff. Look at the detail on this. This is really cool. I'm surprised someone hasn't done this before. The way they've designed the shape on this cuff, right, you get the sleeve length, all the sleeve length you're going to need, right, and it's going to easily accommodate, right, a shorty glove underneath by design. Very cool, very trick. They've also finish this in leather so when you open that locking zipper right it makes it really easy to get more airflow up inside the jacket and get a glove underneath for the hot weather riding. Cool TPR details, contrasting material styles, stretch here in the bicep area it's going to flow air freely just like the mesh wall. Cool TPR detail here down the side of the jacket, locking zippered storage pockets right and left side. TPR detail up here in the top of the jacket also includes another vent right here, kind of a scoop style vent. Close up look at that external back protector we spoke about in the first paragraph. This is a cool jacket. I like it a lot. It's a great alternative to a full leather jacket. And they really got this thing dialed in so it wears really comfortable and light. Stay tuned for the second part. I'm going to disassemble this thing completely and break it down from the inside out. All right, here we go with the all new compound mesh jacket from the inside out. We're going to start off with a CE certified Icon field armor that comes in the jacket. Here's the elbow and forearm piece. Soft shell, lightweight, comfortable, protective. Shoulder piece. This jacket comes with a dual density foam back pad. It offers a reasonable level of protection. You can amp this up by installing their Striker CE certified back protector insert. Let's break this jacket down. I really like this coat. I like the way that it wears. It feels really lightweight. You still got your leather in the sleeves for the protection, which is very cool, even in the back here, right? Nice close-up look at the Striker series articulating back plate logo on the center. This is going to add a good measure of protection work in conjunction with either that dual density piece or if you want to upgrade it to the striker. A little neoprene detail here in the back. Some air vents with some TPR surrounding them. You can see the white is fighter mesh. The black, right, all from the sleeves up into the collar, shoulder area, down surrounding this back insert. More of a heavy D nylon material surrounding the fighter mesh panel. Cool icon TPR detail there with the mesh inside. Looks very trick. Here is our waist adjuster kind of motocross style. They started doing that back with the Contra. It's carrying over now. It's a good look. Works. 
a little heavier D stretch material here, right? Out of the impact zone, we've got this real nice stretch fabric. I've seen this come into play initially with some of their Overlord series jackets. This stuff feels really comfortable, allows the jacket to move. Got like a ventilated kind of reflective panel here. Motion panel on the elbow keeps it comfortable. The trim on these sleeves, I showed you that. I kind of like the cut. It looks cool. It works nice with the short gloves. TPR detail here to bring in the air. More stretch panel built into the sleeve. Underarm side of the jacket keeps it comfortable. Large TPR detail here. Mesh behind it. Air intake style. Zippered storage in the mesh. I like this contrasting mesh style here. Icon TPR logo. Come inside the coat. Comfort fabric lines the collar. Two little storage pockets here. Zippered storage left breast. As always, you go inside, there is a pocket with a nice St. Christopher metal. That is a cool touch for sure. Internal mesh liner. Zip to pants. 8 inch zip to pants. We want to attach a pair of the Icon riding pants. Right side, we've got two more. Storage pockets. All in all, what do we think? Compound mesh jacket is cool. It wears real light. I said it again. That's like eight times I've said that because it wears that nicely. Lots of protection with the leather in the sleeves. We've got the field armor built into it. If you're riding in the hottest of hot temperatures, right, and you want to keep cool, but you want to have a high level of protection, you like the looks of this, pull the trigger. You're going to love the jacket. They did a great job. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com.